University has played a critical role in forestry in Ohio. If you go back to the mid-1800s to late 1800s, as we were removing forests very heavily, settlers came in, cleared the land for agriculture. We watched our percentage of forest cover drop from 95% down to 10% eventually. In that context, you had other folks that were appalled at all the trees that were going missing, industries that depended on trees that no longer could get enough quality or quantity to fuel their business. And so the Ohio State Forestry Bureau was created by the state legislature and housed at the university. Edmund Sechrist was actually dispatched to the state of Ohio to be the first state forester for Ohio, and a lot of folks, they connect him with Sechrist Arboretum, not realizing that he actually was the first state forester that we had, overseeing all the forests in the state, and how we can replant trees, and the research that was done, the plots that are at Sechrist Arboretum were all part of that early forestry history. The woodlands um, that a lot of this research was done on were lands that were originally acquired under the university and once the Department of Natural Resources was established in 1949, the woodland part of the, uh, or the land base actually, went to the newly formed Division of Forestry under the Department of Natural Resources. The research and the education portion stayed with OSU where it naturally fit. And the scientific management that was developed through institutions such as Ohio State, such as the U.S. Forest Service, has continued through to this day. Ohio State University is a land-grant university, and as a land-grant, you have kind of the three arms, which are educating students, the research that's done at the research centers, and then the extension programs. The extension programs have been around as long as the university pretty much has once the Morrill Act took effect. That comes into play. You've got researchers that are doing all this great research, but how do you get it out and put it in the hands of the individual? And so that's the role that Extension plays in a land-grant university. This, this, runs from, this runs from the floor all the way to the top. And this, so this was one the Thompson Library guess, project was, was, veneer, um, uh, was such a unique project. It's not normal. The, pro the whole process, none of the process was normal. Uh, I knew Ohio State's forest uh, um, produces some of the best white oak in the world. Um, I, I knew that. You know, the state of Ohio has, um, we have 21 state forests. It covers more than 200,000 um, acres of land here in, in Ohio. Um, you know, typically, we sell lumber, uh, we dry lumber, we sell a load of lumber, and it could be broken up into different orders. It could be used for furniture. Somebody might buy a bundle of it, somebody might buy two bundles of it, um, but typically you don't have huge volumes of it going into one project. This particular project took, um, it, it would require 60,000 board feet of, of solid uh, trim molding, um, all spec quarter sawn, riff sawn, um, um, certain widths, uh, certain lengths. So there were, there were specs on the entire project before we even got involved. So um, when I met with Mr. Acock and he asked of the story of the white oak and where it came from and, and how it was important for him to um, continue the tradition of, of quarter sawn white oak in, in this library, um, then uh, I told him we would make it happen. My grandfather was born in Southern Ohio in 1914. In 1939, he graduated um, with BS in forestry. Um, he moved in 1940, married my grandmother, moved to Southern Ohio, back to Zaleski State Forest, which is a 23,000, it was a relatively new state forest. Um, had 23,000 acres and he became a forest ranger. 1948 they moved to Chillicothe uh, where he worked for the Ohio Department of uh, Forest Research. The Division of Forestry had been split off and, um, and he stayed with the Department of Forest Research uh, which was part of Ohio State University at the time. 
and from 1949 to 1951 uh, for the new division his job was to inventory um, what, what was then all of the state forest which was 125,000 acres of timberland uh, primarily in southern Ohio um, and his job was to do a physical inventory of all the trees. The exhibit um, it highlights the uh, significance uh, the Ohio State University has uh, contributed to the forest research um, in Ohio over the last um, century and a half. And um, probably most importantly, it's an opportunity to show the students, because they're going to be the main audience for the exhibit, is to show the students that because of the efforts of the professionals that um, have spent their lives um, protecting and curating Ohio State Forest, um, that um, that timber is going to be uh, around for the next generation.